In the mid-19th century, the world was a much larger place than it is today. It was an era of horse-drawn carriages, steamships, and long, arduous journeys. Communication was a matter of patience. Letters, the most common form of correspondence, had to be written by hand, sealed, and then entrusted to a postal system that could take weeks, even months, to deliver. And for those urgent messages, the telegraph was the go-to solution. An ingenious invention, no doubt, but confined to major cities and towns and reliant on skilled operators to decipher the Morse code. Imagine a world where news travelled at the speed of a horse or a steamship. Imagine waiting weeks, if not months, to hear from a loved one or receive critical information. This was the reality of the mid-19th century. But as the world navigated through the pages of time and progress, a revolution was brewing. Little did the world know, a revolution in communication was on the horizon. Enter Alexander Graham Bell, a young inventor with a fascination for sound and communication. Born in Edinburgh, Scotland, Bell was no ordinary child. His early days were steeped in an environment of learning, with both his father and grandfather renowned in the field of elocution. Bell's interest in sound and communication was kindled by his mother's progressive deafness. This personal experience led him to work with the deaf, and he even served as a teacher at Boston's School for the Deaf. Here, he began his experiments with sound transmission, as he aimed to invent a device that would help the deaf communicate more easily. In the mid-1870s, Bell partnered with a talented electrical designer and mechanic, Thomas Watson. Together, they experimented with various devices and methods to transmit sound over long distances. Their partnership was a blend of Bell's inventive brilliance and Watson's practical skills, pushing the boundaries of what was then thought possible. Meanwhile, another inventor, Alicia Gray, was working on a similar device. Both Bell and Gray were in a race against time to be the first to patent their inventions. It was a period of intense competition and incredible innovation, with both inventors pushing themselves to their limits. But it was Bell who emerged victorious. His experiments with the harmonic telegraph, a device that could send multiple messages over a single wire, led him to the invention of the telephone. The telephone, as we know it today, was born out of Bell's insatiable curiosity and his relentless pursuit of sound transmission. And so, on March 7, 1876, Bell's patent for the telephone was granted, forever changing the course of history. With patent in hand, Bell and Watson were ready to put their invention to the test. On a chilly day, March 10, 1876, the duo found themselves on the brink of changing the course of history. Bell in one room and Watson in another were separated by a wire that was about to carry the first words ever spoken through a phone line. Bell picked up the telephone device, his heart pounding with anticipation. He spoke into the mouthpiece, his words simple, yet destined to become famous. Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. These words, clear and distinct, travelled through the wire and reached Watson. The sound of Bell's voice, transmitted through a device, filled the room. A moment of stunned silence was followed by a triumphant cheer. The experiment, the invention, the tireless efforts had all paid off. And just like that, the telephone was born. But what started as a simple device for transmitting sound over a distance, quickly evolved into a tool that would reshape society. The telephone, conceived by Alexander Graham Bell, was not just an invention, it was a revolution that would change the way we live, work and interact. After Bell's first successful call in 1876, the telephone rapidly spread across the globe. Its adoption was swift, for its benefits were apparent. Businesses were quick to recognise the potential of this new technology. No longer bound by the speed of a horse-drawn carriage or the limitations of a telegraph message, businesses could now communicate in real time across vast distances. This led to a surge in productivity, efficiency and expansion, fundamentally altering the way businesses operated. But the impact of the telephone was not limited to the realm of business. It transformed personal communication as well. The telephone brought people closer, bridging distances with the sound of a human voice. Friends and family separated by miles could share news, laughter and tears as if they were in the same room. The telephone shrunk our world, making it a little less lonely, a bit more human. The ripple effect of this innovation didn't stop there. 
This humble device was the precursor to the digital age we live in today. The telephone laid the groundwork for the internet, mobile phones, and various forms of digital communication. Today, we are more connected than ever, with the ability to make a call, send a message, or video chat with someone on the other side of the planet, all at the touch of a button. The telephone has evolved dramatically since Bell's first call. It has transformed from a simple sound transmitting device to a multifaceted tool for communication, information and entertainment. From Bell's simple device to the smartphones in our pockets, the telephone's journey has truly transformed our world, making it smaller and more connected than ever before.